Okay, guys, now this has to be the most catastrophic thing to happen in the Pulse Chain ecosystem. And it's a tweet that Richard Hart dropped. Now, we're going to take a look at the tweet, right? And this is the tweet, right? Hex is much better than eHex, the Hex on Ethereum. Why? Gas fees, liquidity, slippage, common sense. Why would you pay thousands of dollars to end stake instead of pennies? Why would you want a crappier order execution buying into a thinner order book with more slippage, getting less for your dollar? And the same applies if you sold, right? Now, this tweet decimated the price of eHex, Hex on Ethereum. And it has been really, I think it has had a bigger impact than just on Hex on Ethereum because what has happened was that uh, Hex dipped and then PHEX dip uh, pumped a little bit in terms of its ratio with uh, Pulse. And then it dipped again as well. And today, the entire RH ecosystem tokens have dipped. And the, some of the reasons are, you can see those reasons in the comments of what people are saying. right? Uh, so let, let's go further. How are you saving people from gas fees if they have to end stake on two on two chains instead of one every st every start stake end stake or swap on the ethereum chain robs users of dollars because of the abusively expensive gas fees now this statement in in essence it is yeah it is kind of uh destroying ex completely it's saying that this thing is dead <laughs> It's painful, but that's what this is saying. Because if you say that, why would you do this on two chains instead of one? It sounds like you're suggesting that it, everything should be on one chain. We should do the open your stake and end your stake on one chain, suggesting that uh, people should just let eHex die. That's that, that's what that sounds like it's suggesting. Now, uh, let, let's let, let's go further. Uh, that's, those are dollars would have went into the Hex network participant instead. Uh, instead of validators right saying that okay all those transaction fees they go to uh they go to validators they should not be going to validators it should be going to pump up the price more or at least that the the, the hodlers of those that money can retain it for other things right what if all new buyers choose hex instead of ehex what if all the new uh what if all the new buyers chose hex instead of splitting the energy i've told you this before but likely some of you don't listen so well so i'm telling you again hex is the hex on pulse chain the only part that sucks about saying this is that while i told you that you should be very careful about selling one chain for the other because you choose wrong the market will punish you probably some people chose wrong right the market will punish you right now this is just saying that look the market is kind of punishing those because the, the market has always had a premium for PHEX. And, but all in all, yeah, there is a statement. Richard Hart did say that uh, I do want to see expensive HEX on both chains. And now I, initially I didn't want to talk about this, but now seeing how it's actually destroying even the price of Pulse, even the price of Pulse X. I mean, obviously when you have assets that are bonded together by liquidity, they tend to kind of move together up or move together down. But today, because if you look at the market as a whole today, right? The market seems to have positive price, uh, positive price performance. But at the same time, if you look at the price of, of the Pulse Chain ecosystem, the prices seem to be going down. Now, uh, another one who did a great video about this Money Gang Crypto. So I just read a few. Uh, he explained all of this. And I'll read a few of comments that he had on, on his channel. I'm, I'm pissed. I will have to explain to family that I've onboarded why their investment just got cut in half. To totally unexpected, totally contrary to what RA said in the past. Now, here's the thing. If the market is telling us that EX is less valuable, if the market is telling us that EX, the market is also telling us that this tweet was a bad idea. Because that's what the market is telling us. If people are pulling out, and it it, it means that the market is, is telling us that. Uh, <laughs> just before this tweet, there was a change on the bridge so anytime anyone wants to bridge out money from uh, uh, from, from Pulse Chain, there is now a fee. Previously, it was free to bridge out. I think a fee is, is a great idea, though. And I, I, I actually think that a fee is a great idea, and it would be great if a portion of those fees are used for some kind of a buy and burn mechanism. That would be great as well. Okay, now another comment says, RH says people don't, uh, people don't listen, but we did when he said he didn't want to see cheap hex on either chain. Uh, so he's destroying the another comment. So he's destroying the investment of all the eHex holders. Does he really think after decimating the price, we will convert to hex after this? If he can do a like for like swap, I will bridge over. But if no, I will sell my eHex and invest elsewhere. 
I think RH should have streamed about this instead of just a tweet. This was super important. Pretty disappointed in him, myself, uh, on this one. Yeah, I think a, a stream would have been much better because uh, one thing that the tweet does, it, it kind of, you don't have the context around it, right? You don't have the context of exactly what he's feeling when he's saying this, exactly the message that he wants to con convey it. There's a lot of nuance that is that is lost uh, in a tweet because then now what you have is people interpreting it in the way that they believe is right. And I will say this again. There were people who were all in on eHex who were dollar cost averaging, building a strong position, who were staking out long stakes. And it is, it, it's, I will say it's, it's sad that they, they're now in this predicament because despite the fact that ex was not uh performing as well as phex it was still kind of moving with the market as well meaning that in a bull market it would still pump it was not officially dead and at this point it does look like it's officially dead now there are people who are talking about buying this dip uh, increasing their phex position but all in all to me this tweet kind of does look like it just uh it's a the, uh, the end game is is here because whether you like it or not, there is a good amount of people who will just say, "Well, EX is dead." Because if if you read the comments on here, uh, you, what you'll find is that on Richard Hart's tweet, you find some people say, "Well, PX it is then," and so some people are just saying, "Okay, that's fine. We're moving on. We're going to dump our EX and we're moving on to PX. We're going to swap our EX for uh, for for PX." So yeah, it looks like uh, I mean I don't think holding on to EX at this point is a good idea. I think maybe just allow <laughs> that it has been sacrificed. It has been sacrificed. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you again next time.